Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on all the Queen's weapons. They include these weapons and these weapons. Let's get started here. The Her Mercy. All the perks can vary, but I have one of the best two perks. Now I'm going to show you on each two perks. Quick unassisted kills with this weapon uses grenade and melee cooldown. Causing damage with this weapon increases its stability, which is both all in all pretty good. And then the Supremacy. It's one of the limited edition Queen's weapons that you can never get back again. So I've been having this for a while. Missing a shot has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. Gain bonus accuracy while crouched. Moving on to the fusion rifle. Uh, kills with this weapon reduces the cooldown of your grenade. Billy kills increase the reload speed of this weapon for a short amount of time. Okay, moving on to the other sniper rifle. Her benevolence. Kills with this weapon have the chance to grant bonus serve ammo. This weapon gains bonus accuracy. Kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. This weapon gains better target acquisition. Moving on to her courtesy, the shotgun. The last round in a magazine deals bonus damage. This weapon magazine will be refilled whenever you unleash your super. And then the Banyan Dynasty. Banyan Dynasty. Reloading the. Well, it's the sidearm. As you can see. Reloading this weapon after a kill grants a. Damage bonus for a short amount of time. This weapon deals a small amount of bonus damage to fallen. Moving on to the rocket launcher, the Dream Walker. Rockets from this weapon will detonate early based on proximity to targets. This launcher tube can hold three shells. Moving on to the assault rifle, her right hand. This one grows more accurate. More accurate the longer it is fired. Reading this weapon grants a brief period of bonus accuracy. Reduces the severity of this weapon recoil. This weapon has increased stability. That is the pulse rifle in the right hand. Moving on to the Dregs Pride 2. There's two different ones. Just to let you know. This weapon deals a small amount of bonus damage to fallen enemies. Quick unassisted kills with this weapon reduces grenade and melee cooldown. We'll say Claw 2, which is related related to this weapon I have in my inventory, does not bow. Just to let you know. This weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen drags. Kills with this weapon grants bonus damage for a short time. Moving on to the to the fusion rifle. Servants of Arkansas. This weapon gains better acquisition. Target acquisition. This weapon has a chance of suppressing a fallen captain's abilities. Moving on to the sniper rifle, Shadow of Veils. This weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen shanks. This weapon 
magazine will be rebuilt whenever you unleash your super. We're right on to the shotgun. Wolf Born Oath. Short period of 25% bonus damage, melee damage after landing a hit with this weapon. This weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen drakes. Moving on to the machine gun. Chain of Orbix. This weapon deals moderate bonus damage to fallen chinks. This weapon has increased stability. Moving on to the rocket launcher, last of all, the last rebellion. Relating this weapon, it's a chance to grab a larger than normal magazine. This weapon deals moderate bonus damage to vandals. Thanks you guys for watching this video. If you are watching this video and... These are the icons. Icons. Oh yeah, one more. One more. The wolves leash. I forgot to show. That my favorite. Exis. Like what? Wolves leash. Rapidly landing precision hits with. It will return one around to the magazine. This weapon has a chance to stun fallen captains. And just in case if I forgot forgot about the auto rifle, pulse rifle on it. Exis of Kel, I mean this weapon increases its effective range. This weapon deals more moderate bonus damage to fallen shanks. This is all the icons. If you want to pause it, look at See you guys on the next video. And goodbye.